Hi again, my name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. This is gonna be the second episode of my Australian skincare products review. So if you haven't watched the very first episode, I'll leave it somewhere there. And also, I've already reviewed a brand called Emco Beauty here in Australia all of their skincare products. So if you haven't watched that one and you are interested, I'll make sure to leave that one somewhere as well for you to check it out. I'm gonna bring you another facial oil by this brand. I don't know if it's pronounced as Trip or Trippy. I just, please excuse me, my terrible grammar and pronunciation. This is the Repairing Facial Oil, skincare for sensitive skin. I've got a 30 ml here and this is their full size, retails for $48. Looking at the price tag, you'll be like, ooh, this sounds like a bit pricey. I do really loving this little purple packaging. I think it looks so beautiful on my skincare vanity. This brand is aiming to provide a gentle experiences on uh, sensitive skins. They include natural anti-inflammatory ingredients in almost all of their products and they contain no harsh chemicals, artificial fragrance, etc. So let me quickly smell this one absolutely nothing and it's really hard for an oil to achieve that because if you don't add in something the oil itself might smell a little bit but it really makes sure it barely smells like anything speaking of the ingredient it's very simple straightforward and yet very strong and specific we've only got three ingredients here we have rose heap oil as a natural vitamin c to provide the brightness reduce inflammations natural antioxidant ingredient as well. And then we have jojoba oil, like we mentioned earlier. It helps to nourish the skin, get rid of all the dry patches and the skin like mild, I guess, uh, allergy reactions to keep it calming and smoothing it, as well as avocado oil to further provide a good hydration. As a face oil who is super simple on your ingredient, I've really, really been digging into it. I would say I can't use it on an everyday basis on my face. It's not super oily, but it's definitely not the lightest I've used. So far, my lightest oil is still the uh, Natio one, the Miracle Face Oil, and that's a really good one. But this one, to be used as a sometime, like a weekly treatment on my face, it's really good. And to be used this on my body, oh my god, my body's gonna be loving it. Away from the oils, let's talk about serums. I've got one, two, three, three serums to talk about. The why I'm not talking properly. The first one is also like a serum slash oil product. This is the Biology Restore Face and Body Serum. I've got, I believe I've got a 20 ml size here. I can't find it, doesn't say anything on the bottle. I might throw away the packaging. It is retail for $34. I think this is one they have different sizes. So for a 20 ml, $34 is not very affordable for sure. This is a brand they're using 100% active plant fatal nutrients, including natural vitamin C. So it's another, again, very green brand. You see that very often and very common in Australia brands. So if you're someone loving green, there you go. I reckon you can't find more green here than anywhere else. Obviously, the main ingredient here is their natural vitamin C, and then they have Trifitum, which is to aiming to lock moisture, restore skin barrier, as well as fluoridic acid, protect UV radiation, and provides hydration. I do like the ingredient adding in fluoridic acid along with vitamin C. This is a really nice pair. If you think of the skin cuticle ones, they have vitamin C and um, fluoride acid, acid, acid as well. Experience-wise, um, after looking at all the ingredients, I don't think I received the same sort of result as compared to some other vitamin C. So I feel like this is more of an oil type of texture on my skin. So I'd be really more using it as a body sort of serum rather than facial serum. It's very, very light, runny texture. And once you finish, I feel like it leaves a tiny bit of tacky and oily shine. Not in a bad way, but it's not something that I was after in particular. I just want a serum that is lightweight, strong, have a good result. I feel this one is lightweight, but somewhat feels heavy on my skin, and I haven't noticed a huge result. But you know, I haven't been using it a lot because I wasn't 
like liking it the way how it applies on my face so I've been using it on my body but I've got a couple of body oils that I'm loving so this is not my number one to go not even mention $34 for 20 ml it's definitely not the cheapest one so I feel like I'm gonna enjoy as much as I can with this bottle and I won't recommend it fortunately and then we've got another one here it's by the brand Terra Tonics it's your clean collagen serum. It's called Bioactive Plant Serum Plus Natural Retinoid. So, sounds like a really good vitamin A serum from the plant extract. This is a product that winning quite a bit of award. I've got Editor's Choice of 2022. That's this year. Is it 2021 where I'm meant to be? Also, our Organic Beauty Award winner. Best Natural Retinoid Treatment 2021, Best Clean Bakuchino Retinoid Serums of 2021. It's a product with a lot of highs, like you've got stars ding 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 here. It contains 4% of Bakuchino and also contains Kakadu Plum, which is like a natural vitamin C, as well as a finger flying. The one that I've got here is a 5ml. This one retails for $26 not affordable. They do also have a 30ml product which retails for 139 So it's definitely not a thing that I would purchase. I would actually go for SkinCeutical if I have that amount of money. I really don't feel like this is anything. Like to be honest, I have used Bakuchino like a retinoid product before, the sweets ones. I feel a lot more results on my face than this. But that one also contains 10% niacinamide, so maybe that's the reason. This is really nothing to me that I can pinpoint as saying it did anything or a caused any problems, like nothing. I mean, it could be working super well for some particular type of skin, but it's just not my cup of tea and super expensive in my opinion. But they win a whole bunch of awards there, that means they definitely have something. So it's a brand that I will keep an eye on it. Like if I get to try their other product in the future, I will because I know they're expensive and maybe I'll love other things. But this one, unfortunately, is another no-no for me. So that left me with one more serum to talk about while I was testing. And this is a Kmart brand, Encol, and I've got their brightening serum. I love how the brand makes the name and their ingredients like off like at the front of the labelings, it says it contains 0.5 fluoride acid, aloe vera and 0.25% retinoid. They also contain glycerin actually and pomegranate extract as well. We have a 30ml bottles here, I believe this one is $8. They might be like discount to $6 or something. As a dropper bottle, it's actually quite well protected with all the sunlight because there are for a period of time I'm trying to see how much I left and I couldn't see through it. I have to say it comes with a scent. It's definitely not like a fragrance. But I really dislike the scent. So when I applied it, I pretty much 30 minutes holding my breath, get it on my face, get it absorbed into my face and get ready to apply the next thing. It will went away eventually, I say five minutes or so. But the five minutes where you can smell it is really not pleasant. However, I really enjoy the experience. It definitely works well with my skin. I feel like I really want to repurchase another of these and I'm overcoming with the scent or let's put it this way, I'm just getting used to the scent of it now. Like I, I, I come to the point that I myself can accept the scent. So if you can get away with the fragrance that you think you can tolerate it, it's absolutely a yes for me to try it and it absolutely worth the money in my opinion. So I am really impressed by the Kmart brand and they came up with a lot of things with different claims and they tell you the percentage, the concentration, that is just amazing. While I was shopping, while I was getting the a serum. I also pick up another their product. Is there a vitamin C and collagen eye gel with orange oil? This is a 20 ml product. This one retails for four dollars. And looking at the ingredient list, the first one is water, and then I have glycerin. The third ingredient is ascorbic acid, and the fourth ingredient is collagen. So all the key things are put up at the very top four ingredients. So I would say they have a relatively good concentration. They might not have a lot in terms of everything, but it's definitely like quite high compared to everything else they put it in here. 
For a 20 ml product, I wasn't thinking of just using it for my eye. I kind of use it as an eye gel slash a facial cream or gel as well. And it works well either way. And I don't feel like I'm wasting my money because it's an eye product that I use it on all over my face. And also vice versa, I won't feel like it's not going to be sufficient because we have 20 ml here. You can definitely use it for your entire face for a period of time. Like if you're taking this one for travel, it will be super, like almost more than, depends on how long you travel for, but it will last you for a good at least a week or more. Because it's a gel formula, so it's very lightweight, absorbs quickly into your skin. If you're having a very oily sort of skin type or you want to use in the summer, this will be a something to go for over than some regular standard cream or even balm texture. And yet it provides some good nourishment to your skin. So I've been really loving it for the daytime as a face cream. Um, but I can also use it around my eyes, no problem as an eye gel. I don't know if the collagen ingredient will actually get into as a collagen into your skin because the collagen has to separate, the compound has to be reformulated together, let's put it this way, to reform the collagen that we can be used for the face. But I'm happy with your vitamin C's and for $4, I'm really glad that I picked this up and I will recommend it to you. So both of the Kmart skincare are something I'm really happy found and I can't wait to test them out more. I might actually do a full video all about the Kmart. I feel like that's something I really want to do. Let me know in the comments below if you wish and if you already tried some of their other products, let me know because I want to know how it, like if it's, these are the two and only two good stuff or there are a lot more that I just haven't discovered yet. And moving on to cream, I've got one more moisturizer here. This is by the brand Evergreen. Obviously, I've got a little travel size. This is their Intensive Rejuvenating Cream. I believe I have like a 5 ml here. It didn't say on the bottle either. This one retails for $12.5. So it's relatively, I guess, a reasonable price compared to the serum that I just mentioned. I mean, this cream is a lot better. This is a brand that's founded by a compounding pharmacist and cosmeceutical chemist. All of their products consist of natural bases, Australian botanical extract and active cosmeceutical ingredients that are clinically proven to work. So again, it's a very like plant-based and natural uh, brand, but also adding some active ingredient that's proved to be working for your face. And this little bottle here, it has quite a bit of ingredients. So we starting with Kakadu Plum, natural vitamin C, and then they also having Q10, hyaluronic acid, vitamin B3, as well as one peptide called Botulinum toxin like peptide. This is a peptide saying can reduce wrinkles up to 40%. And it has a long lasting wrinkle freeze action for over 24 hours. This is where they've done their own studies and that's how they approve it. I'm not quite sure. So I was actually hoping this will be a super good nourishing, at least a nourishing, a somewhat lifting anti-aging cream. And I'll say this little bottle lasts a fair bit of time. Like I was to a point like, I can't see anything left in the bottle, but it still pops out fine. Um, but I have to say, I don't really enjoy this. I feel like this one is really dry on my skin and I don't know if because the little travel size tend to be dried out a lot faster. I received this whole beauty box, so a majority of the stuff I received from that beauty event calendar, which I purchased at the end of the last year. So I don't think it's been that long, but this has not been the best sort of texture in my opinion, I made myself to use this up because it's a little travel size. I tried to make it as empty, but I have to say I wasn't enjoying this and I didn't see any like wrinkle approving effect on my skin or like a brightening or moisturizing. Nothing was noticeable on my skin. So I won't recommend this, unfortunately. Now we have the last three products. Two of them are treatments. So we're gonna go with them first. We're gonna talk about a AHA treatment here. This is by the brand Akira, 8 Glycolic Resurfacing Gel Exfoliator. 
Alkira is a brand that you can find at Priceline. I saw it the other day, they have a whole line there and I'm really surprised I've never paid much of attention. They have the same original founders of Sukin and they created this one. They're aiming to use a lot of, again, botanical, botanical? botanical extracts and it's a cruelty-free, vegan, natural delivered brand that 98.8% of all their product at least are naturally delivered. So this one here, as the name suggested, we have 8% glycolic acid and this is a natural fruit AHA to add in here to obviously really in the skin, even your skin tones, doing chemical exfoliations. They're also adding cacao plum, condor, finger lime, caviar. This is all natural vitamin C's to further giving your skin radiation and they're also adding cacao coconut, aloe vera, mango, cucumber, caramel to soft your skin so improve that experience while you're exfoliating your face. They are recommending to use it two to three times per week at night time, leave it for 10 minutes also and wash it off. I would say they're having a relatively mild gentle formula. If you're someone starting wanting to try some AHA, don't want to go so strong to the ordinary or some other brands, I think there will be this one will be a really good one as an introductory one. That you don't have to use it two to three times per week, but you can use it once a week, see how you go. We've got 50 mil here and this one only retails for $27.95. I reckon it's a really, really affordable price for the size of bottle that we're getting and they are nicely giving you expiring date I've been loving this so at least I know how long I need to finish like when I have to finish this one up because treatment wise you don't use it every single day and sometimes you swap out depends on your skin condition knowing expiring date is really really helpful so I feel like I need to dive into this brand a little bit more as well but I only have one face should I go Kmart or should I go Alkira let me know in the comment below but I will recommend this and I think it's worth the money and then I've used up a facial mask. This is by the brand Pro Polinkish. I've used up their Snow Algae Anti-Aging Face Mask. This one comes within a four sheet pack, which retails for $39.95. So pretty much $10 for this one. Same price tag as the Dr. Levin's mask. It is an Australian, Australian? Australian brand that is based in Melbourne and it is First edible marine algae ingredient to be used in 2010. Uh, I know Dr. Levin's have marine algae ingredient, but they only come up with that one a few years back. So apparently this brand started using it way back 10, 12 years ago now, and they were the first one using this. Looking at this particular mask, it has quite a bit of good ingredient. We have sweet snow algae, which is to reduce visible effects of aging, inhibit this collagen destroying enzymes, so like holds everything in place, keep the collagen, continue producting. Also have adding in hyaluronic acid, as well as a lot of things I don't actually know. So we're gonna go through them one by one. First is called golden rod. This is an uh, ingredient to smooth strengths and regenerate skin. And we also have sea grapes or green caviar, which is aiming to boost the collagen production, retain skin moisturizer and even our skin tone. And we have Plantago extra to reduce inflammation. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. And like I said, it's having that second skin like biocellulose thin natural fibers while you are using this on your face. You won't have serums dripping on your face. It actually feels very nice. And they're more effectively to deliver nutrients to derms of the skin. So deep layer of the skin because of the texture and because of the ingredient they have. So I've been really enjoying this, although it's a one single use and I used it, I'll say two months back when I first tested it out, I still remember my experience. I will leave a photo, I took one photo when I finished using it. It made my skin so calm, so nourishing, and even now my skin tones as well. I'm just like, oh my god, this is so good. And it's not that expensive to be honest. It is a little bit hard to purchase in my opinion. That's probably one downside, but I've been really looking forward, maybe pick it up in the future when there's a good deal. And that's pretty much everything for the skin, but I did test it out a body deodorant. So we might as well talk about this one together today. This is the brand Woohoo Deodorant. So Woohoo Body, I believe this is the brand, and we've got deodorant and anti-chaff stick. They have different scent or types. I've received the Surf Regular Strength, and this is a 60 gram product, retail for $16.95. I think it's very, very affordable because a stick can use almost like forever long. It is a family business, and they have quite a bit of range, and 
particular Woohoo body is for deodorant. You, when you are on their website, you see they divert you to different other like brands as well, but it's all from the same family. It's a paper packaging which is environmental friendly. I've used the base, it might look a bit yucky. It just feels like it's a toothpaste kind of formula, like literally. It is 100% natural, vegan, toxin free, pH adjusted, there's no essential oils in there. So I actually use it on the day when I feel my underarm is a little bit irritated and it's been saving my day. It does feel a bit slippery at the end of the day after you, you, you have your exercise on, you have the sweat there. And they are saying, this might have a tropical scent, I don't smell a thing. They do have different other color packagings, maybe they have a tropical scent, but I feel like this one is like a fragrance, almost like fragrance free virgin. So I'd be really happy receiving this and use this after maybe pick it up in the future. I found something even more affordable or more easy access from the local chemist and maybe I'll choose them over this because you do have to order online, etc. But I've been really enjoying this. That is everything for today and last week's video. Everything I've tested out in the last couple of months, I think I'll take a little break here from Australian skincare brand. I am ready to dive into more Asian skincare brand, which you guys were really interested in as well. So hang on tight there. I'll see you guys in a couple months time. Well, in between, I definitely have other videos uploading every week. Um, but yeah, I'll see you very soon for another round of skincare reviews. And if you like today's video, don't forget to give this video a like and consider subscribe down below. I cannot talk at all at the moment, but I hope you guys are having a great time with me. Stay safe and stay positive, And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.